Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to another exhibition match. Before we start, you may notice that the stream quality is going to be considerably higher than the last time I casted. I've moved away to a new place. I've gone from the middle of nowhere to the western edge of nowhere, which has considerably better internet access, which we'll be seeing shortly. So I'll be seeing a game between Norm616 and Steel Blue. Let's get that started. So, Norm is starting in the top left corner, top right corners, I mean. He is going for hovercrafts, very quickly morphing his commander as well, while Steel Blue is going for light vehicles, and also morphing his commander. Both players morphing very quickly, probably going for energy cell beam laser. With support commander, that's a very common setup, because it basically gives you your starting energy for pretty much free. Yes, that is exactly what they're going for, energy cell, so that's 10 energy right there. And then, of course, building the metal extractors to get up to 10 metal or so. And with that, they're able to support their factory right away. It's a very common opening build. Much more common with lower skill players than higher skill players, but it's a very safe build. It may not be the optimal in all situations, but it's definitely a safe one if you're starting out. This is an easy way of getting your economy stabilized before getting on to the rest of the game. Also, Finn's Revenge, as you may notice, has a lot of water. And hovercrafts definitely take advantage of this. Light vehicles can work, but in my experience, you have to be rather quick with them. Otherwise, the hovercrafts is going to take advantage of these side metal extractors. And these metal extractors here, four metal each. They are very valuable. All the ones in the ground, so you can see about three metal, two and a half metal or so. Little over, little under three metal. So you want to make sure that your opponent can't get those. And with hovercrafts, it's much easier to do that. So right now, Norm has access to these islands on the top top left bottom right and he is actually he's losing some of his scrubbers a bit to these yeah he's losing the scrubbers to the scorchers scrubbers of course being single shot units the gauss cannon very handy if you position them well but you have to make sure to keep them at range and make sure to avoid getting into combat when they aren't able to fire when they're reloading don't fight when they're not reloading go ahead and fight but they were reloading right there on the other hand scorchers need to get up and close once they do, they deal maximum damage. It's very important that you take advantage of this, otherwise it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be embarrassing. As we saw, the scrubbers were all lost. However, the scrubbers are now taking advantage of the water, very nicely done. They are not engaging these scorchers, but no, they are, they are going back to flank and having taken advantage of the water, they can use that for the range. One of them is, I need to have two of them near any of the scorchers to instant kill them, he did lose one. Almost losing another, not quite able to pull that flank off. But here we see what I was talking about. Norm is going for a metal extractor at the southeast island. While his main base is being attacked, and he is losing a lot of scrubbers to this. Now, against Scorchers, it with hovercrafts, it's kind of tricky to get around them. Because like I said, scrubbers don't deal with them well. Hovercrafts have a lot of single shot units. Halberds might work, but even then, their main strength is just the fact that they don't take a lot of damage when they're not firing. However, they would obviously have to fire in order to kill the Scorchers, so really, a lot of it comes down to tactics. You have to be very careful in how you use the Scorchers. Sorry, how you use the Scrubbers. And it looks like Norm was not losing his Hovercraft Factory. He probably will build another one, however, he doesn't really need to. The main, I mean, there is obviously the strength of having the Hovercraft units on the water, but the main thing is getting these Metal Extractors, given that Steel Blue has not gotten for anything He's not gone for anything that can actually attack those islands. Norm is still a massive economic lead. He needs to build another factory. Going towards the water, I think he's going for a sea factory. I don't think I'd recommend that. At this point, I would almost recommend just seeing if he can make hovercrafts work. But if he can't, then possibly going... What is this guy doing? Yes, he is in fact going... F not a sea factory. An amphibious... Okay, an amphibious factory. This map is large. Amphibious bots are going to have a slightly harder time getting across it than... Well, actually, they're going to have a hard time getting across it. And once again, you're dealing with units that don't fire extremely frequently. Archers wouldn't be too bad, though. Archers... Still kind of tricky. He's largely depending on the water being near his opponent. Hovercrafts, on the other hand, were able to work with both, but... If he's not comfortable handling them in a light vehicle situation, I'm not entirely surprised. Possibly just counter with light vehicles himself. Because at the very least, he'd have the same tools at hand. But yeah, bots in this map, at this stage in the game, we're already five minutes into the game, I think bots would just be 
wasteful. Granted, amphibious bots do give you the option of ducking into the water, and of course they give you the option of ducks, which pretty much will one-shot anything here. Well, not quite. I think ducks have a single-shot damage of 400 or so, so you still need three or four ducks to kill off a single leveler, but it wouldn't be too hard. The homing missiles are very powerful for that. What I'm a bit surprised, though, is why is Norm not reclaiming this? This is very bizarre. He should be reclaiming his factory. Steel Blue, on the other hand, we see is reclaiming, or his caretaker is automatically reclaiming all this stuff around it to help feed his economy. Getting a gunship plant. There we go. Now he's going to be able to take care of these bases over here, and there aren't a lot of great defenses for air. There is the Gauss turret. He's expecting an attack from the sea, but from the air, that won't help. And the lasers will help a bit, but defenders would have been a slightly better choice, I think, overall, at least adding a defender or two. His only... Like, torpedo launchers and defenders would have been the better options here, I think. Double-checking cost, but... So your average torpedo launcher is going to be giving you 260 metal, and defender, of course, is 80 each. So defender would obviously be a better option for the air, but still, a couple torpedo launchers probably wouldn't... Uh... Okay, laser turret's good against the hovercrafts, torpedo launchers good against the... C units and PBC units that come in, and defenders for air. Though, granted, he's not really sure what Norm is up to. A little bit surprised he hasn't gone checking out the base until just now. Sending in some levelers to try to finish it off. Not aware of this amphibious operations plant at all. Unit under attack. But at the same time, Steel Blue having his gunship plant here, it doesn't really matter. Because Steel Blue can take this out since Norm did not defend it with defenders. The laser turrets are going to help for a small while, but not that long. And the levelers are coming in, taking out Norm's main base, but like I said, this is just getting to parity, so Steel Blue now in an economic advantage. But Norm can still have, well, he should have reclaimed all this stuff a while ago. Getting up laser turrets to try to get rid of the levelers, that will not help. Three levelers will take out the laser turrets without issue, and they don't have to worry about it. As you can see, not everything's well defended by it. And archers are coming out. Archers and ducks being built. Not a terrible idea. Though, really, spamming ducks would probably be the better option. Archers can be handy. They can push stuff in around. They can push stuff off cliffs into water. But they are fairly powerful. They do require water to recharge rapidly. But I really wouldn't recommend that. I... Ducks, just getting a bunch of ducks would allow him to one-shot anything that he encounters, and then from there, getting anti-air. trying to remember what... Well, we have the angler here. That's about the best thing you can do for these... Well, that or defenders to get rid of the rapiers here. The rapiers, however, going straight for the main base. Steel Blue not even considering these side bases that are built, and that is going to be somewhat to his peril. Though he may at this point clue in that there is a factory somewhere along the map, not on the land. He doesn't appear to be caring about that though at all. He's simply going for the main base, possibly trying to get rid of the commander, and continue to be morphed. Looks like this commander was set up slightly to be a bit of a one robot army. See, so at level 3, getting Disruptor Beam, Shield, and Nanolith. No, it's an evenly built commander. It's meant to handle building while sort of being able to fight, but not intended to fight directly. On the other hand, Steel Blue, not morphing his commander, focused much more on unit production, as he generally should be. Now, Norm is reclaiming someone. He is getting a fairly decent economy going, but at this point, build another factory. Build defenders, maybe. Build... Heck, you can build an air factory and build Avengers. It's not... And someone... And Adma pointing in the chat that there is... Not much I can say, because the players are playing way too defensively. Zero K is a game of aggression. However, Steel Blue is aware of the Amphibious Factory, finally. He can't actually deal with it directly. His units can't deal with anything underwater at the moment. So the Ducks and Archers basically have all the time they need to set up. And now they come up. The Archers are coming up. The Ducks are a bit behind. The Archers are closer to attack. And actually, the Archers are going to be doing fine, given that they were not fighting anything at all, really. Though, that's the main thing. He has, He's fighting a defenseless force. The levelers are coming in to try to deal with this, and if they're pushed away, actually, the ducks come in and synergize, the levelers can be pushed away, get out of range. I think the ducks may have a larger... No, the ducks have the same range as levelers. Actually, slightly smaller range than levelers. 
So it would only help as part of a timing attack, but that would require pretty careful micromanagement. If he gets the ducks just in the right position, possibly pushing the levelers past the ducks, but it doesn't matter, the ducks coming in here, one of them, losing all the ducks before only one shot getting fired, that is very sad. A nice flank with four ducks that would have one shot at every one of those levelers in a row. That is painful. Thankfully though, more ducks are coming in. Norm does have his economy getting, well, not really rebuilt, he's getting his reclaim up though, that is pretty nice. But he needed to have been more careful about how he handled those ducks. Having he put them into a line move, gotten them in a flank in the levelers, and just moved them in while the archers were distracting the levelers. Or like I said, use the archers to just push the levelers past the ducks. Kind of if you have the ducks along the side here, and then you have the archers over here, and then the levelers just push past the ducks. So the levelers never get a chance to shoot at the ducks. But that didn't happen. I mean admittedly that's a bit of a trick there. That's a lot of micromanagement for not a whole lot of effort. And it looks like Norm has lost his northwest base. His southeast base is going down soon after. That is exactly what's happening. These archers are going straight for that base. No, they aren't. What? Why are they not going for that base? No, never mind. He, that was a slight mistake, apparently, on Steel Blue's part. He is definitely going for the southeast base. And Norm's days of Norm is getting a Cloaky Bot Factory, which, at this point, the best bet would be a tick. Get a tick, stun these Ravagers out. He has... I think enough ducks right... Or not ducks, he's getting clams right now, actually. Or scallops, I mean. Not clams. Clams are the building unit. But he's getting some scallops. Nice shotgun unit. But not the best option, I'd say, for Ravagers. But yeah, if he gets some ticks out, but he's not getting ticks out, getting Rocco's out instead. Not the best option. All I can really hope for is that enough Ravagers will die to this Geothermal, and none of them do. And this Razor's Kiss here, also not doing too much. Given that nothing is attacking... I mean, all the Aryans are attacking the southeast base, and the Builder building the Cobra here down. Everything is going down. I think Norm 616 is going to surrender very soon. And these Ravagers just finishing off the defenses. There we go. Norm has surrendered. And that is the first game for tonight. So I will be back shortly. Stay tuned.